Hey, what's going on YouTubers? Fermentio here, back again for another video. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to be talking about, oh my goodness, today I'm going to be talking about the latest Captain America Civil War trailer. My God, this thing was powerful. This trailer was, whew, I need to breathe, I need to breathe. Wow. So, unfortunately, I was at work when this trailer dropped. I watched it on my break. I watched this thing on my on my 30 minute break and I was unable to work after it. I was like frozen and I've never felt the need to make a video more than I have after watching that trailer. I was like, I need to make a video immediately, immediately talking about this trailer, but I had work uh, the next two days and I didn't get a chance to actually do it. So I know I'm a little bit late to the game, but whew, let's talk about this trailer. So. First things first, right off the bat, General Ross uh, from The Incredible Hulk. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that they kind of brought that character back. I thought he was one of the better parts of that film, his character at least. Um, explaining to Cap and, and Falcon and Scarlet Witch that, you know, the Avengers, they've, they've messed some stuff up. They've blown up city blocks. They've destroyed a lot of stuff. They're showing them clips from, you know, the first Avengers and Civil War and Age of Ultron. I'm sorry, Winter Soldier and Age of Ultron and... It doesn't look pretty. It looks pretty graphic and it looks really destructive and you start to get the sense that, yeah, I kind of understand the reason why they're doing this and this is something that the government in real life would actually try to do. Uh, and I like that. I like how they give you that sense uh, immediately and it, it immediately makes you understand and I, I love how, and it's like five, the first five seconds of the trailer, they show that and you're like, okay, I kind of get it now. Um, later on, the trailer progresses and they show Bucky, the Winter Soldier, taking down uh, War Machine, you know, Iron Man's buddy, and then you immediately understand, wow, so this is why, you know, Tony is extremely pissed at Cap and Bucky, this makes sense, so, you know, I think this trailer is very well crafted right off the bat, because you immediately understand what's happening, you immediately understand that this is why they're having this civil war, like, there's, there's some horrible stuff going on, and everyone's reacting differently, and I, I, I feel like it's very real, and I like that. I really do. A civil war should feel really real. And um, wow, the tone of this trailer is just spot on. Um, just seeing some of the action scenes. Again, I remember in the Super Bowl trailer they showed this, but you know, Tony Stark um, putting his Iron Man glove on and like catching Bucky's bullet looks fantastic. I cannot wait to see that on the big screen and the sound effect for that. Uh, every time I see it, I honestly get goosebumps. That is one, of, still one of my favorite things I've seen from this film so far. Um, Seeing Black Panther on all fours charging towards Bucky, that looked fantastic. I love the way uh, they're, they're, you know, putting Black Panther in this film. I love the way he looks. His costume looks so awesome. Oh my gosh, his costume. He easily has the coolest costume in this entire, the entire MCU, honestly. It looks so awesome. Um, and I can't wait to see Chadwick Bosman as... Uh, uh, T'Challa, I love Chadwick Bosman in 42, Get On Up. Uh, that guy is a great actor, and it's nice to see him, um, you know, interacting with, you know, a bunch of other great actors in, you know, in the MCU. This trailer, I thought was fantastic. I could keep picking at stuff in the, that's happened in the middle, but they did kind of recycle a lot of stuff that was in previous trailers, just lots of action scenes. I love to see him. I love seeing stuff blow up. Um, I love seeing just how everything is uh, culminating to, it looks like a big face-off at some weird airstrip, I'm not sure. And then we see the best part about this whole trailer, oh my god. Um, Spider-Man pops out and takes out Cap, um, webs him down, and then jumps on what I believe to be like a car or some kind of van, I can't remember. Um, and he has Cap's shield in his hand, and he's like, hey guys, <laughs> I love that. I thought that was just fantastic. First things first, his costume, oh my gosh. Again, I, I mentioned that Black Panther has probably the best costume in the MCU, but I think after I see this film, I might have a different say. I don't know. Um, it looks great. His eyes are expressive. Um, they're animated. I really like that you can see him kind of squint, and I think that's a really good idea because, again, Peter Parker, this guy has a secret identity. You know, Spider-Man, you know, people don't know that he's Peter Parker. At least I think that's how they're going to do it in this film. So having him be able to express emotion through his mask, I think is a good idea because I think it is going to be on maybe the entirety of the film or at least, you know, a big chunk. Uh, I mean, I don't think he's going to be in the movie that much. So we'll see how that flows. Um, his belt, I think, looks really cool with the cartridges on it. Again, um, with his eyes, they look like the 60s. This belt, you know, definitely this looks very faithful to what Spider-Man is in the comic book. And seeing that in this film, seeing him interact with Tony and... You know, Steve Rogers, I think, 
I think this looks awesome. I, I really, really loved uh, seeing Spider-Man swing in. I, I think that was fantastic. Um, everyone believed that they were going to save that just for the film. Everyone knew that he was in it, but people thought maybe it was just going to be an after credit scene. Um, I don't know his extent in this film. I don't know if he's going to be a bigger character. I think that it's just going to be... I mean, I don't know for sure, but I think that it's going to be one kind of big action scene with him, fighting with Cap maybe, um, maybe kind of going, you know... Maybe him kind of talking on what his views are of the Civil War, what side he's on. Because in the comic book, he kind of flip-flops between Cap's side and Iron Man's side, so it's going to be interesting to see how they do that. In the trailer, he's obviously uh, on Tony's side, so I'm curious if he's going to uh, go over to Cap's side. Is he going to be a bigger character that spawns throughout the, spans throughout the entire film? I have no idea. No one has any idea. It was just two seconds, but it was two very, very glorious seconds. Oh my gosh. Um, when I was at work... And I watched this thing, as I mentioned before, I I couldn't work after I watched the trailer because of Spider-Man. I was like, my goodness, I am a very, very happy man right now. I love this trailer. Tonally, it was uh, fantastic. I love how they give you the story, the gist of what's going on right off the bat. They show really cool action scenes. And then there's a huge payoff at the end with Spider-Man swinging in. This is fantastic. Oh, and another thing, him holding that shield, that just solidifies his place in the MCU, and I love that. I, oh my god, I love that. You're like, immediately he has that shield in his hand, and you're like, yes, like he is going to be an Avenger. This guy is going to be in these upcoming Marvel films, and it just makes you so, ha it made me so happy. It Just seeing him hold that shield, they're like, yeah, that's right, that's right, that, you belong here, man. Um, so yeah, comment below. Let me know what you think of this trailer. Did you not like it? Did you like it? Did you like it as much as I did? Let me know down below. What do you think of Spider-Man as well? Um, I'm curious. Do you like the way he looks? Do you think he looks uh, too cartoony? Do you think he looks too 60s-ish? Uh, let me know down below. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed anything that I had to talk about. Uh, hitting the subscribe button, that helps me out even more. And uh, you can follow me at uh, on Twitter at Fumencho7, sorry, um, where I post a lot of stuff regarding this channel. I have other social media stuff down below uh, you can check out in the description. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I cannot wait till these tickets go on sale. My God, as soon as that happens, I'm going to buy like five of them. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I will see you guys later.